jump Climb out on the roof, just jump Motherfucker, you a lazy little shit Why not jump and just fucking quit? It's your own fault, boy, you never did enough And now you're gonna pay for the fucking shit you say Victim blaming, mental shaming, always bitching cause I'm gaming But this shit now I'm proclaiming and I'm aiming for the house of lies That you built on the hill of the dagger that you staggered my ass with Now you haggard, I'm so aggro, call your fucking son a faggot Why so ragged, you a maggot See a dollar and just grab it from the mouth of the starving reprobate So much hate Bitch, I needed an escape from the rape of my sanity. Humanity is drained from my motherfucking corpse as I hit the fucking dirt. All the fucking hurt and the shit I can't recall dies with me. All the shame and the failure. I'm a terror. Fuck my mirror. Time to fix this fucking error. Yeah. I'm the bearer of this shit And I wear it on my wrist Now it's time to cut it out And just grow the fuck up In my mirror it's a vision that I see Of myself Damn I'm looking like my father So why even bother Or die for my mother So I'll never treat another The way that he fucked her I'll break this damn cycle and Jump, jump, jump Jump, motherfucker Jump, jump Jump, 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 motherfucker, just jump, 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 motherfucker, jump, 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 motherfucker. When there's evil in my heart and there's Satan in my veins, I'm insane. Best get stitches in my brain or a cane, cause I can't fucking stand on my own two feet. Feet is my only fucking path. I'm a retreat. Can't rest until my brain hits the concrete. Fuck you. I'm just tired of this DC and these lies that you fucking spew and the shit you put me through and the shit you fucking do. But sometimes I just wonder if the shit you say is true. I'm just so damn rude and irresponsible to boot and. I'm the fucking reason mama's caught in her wrist open I just see too much, play too much Got some shit to say too much Never clean my cage, I must Such a fuss, boy don't cuss I'ma fucking take your trust Give to God and make it rust Time to bust, mustn't lust Gonna leave you in the dust Live a life that's unjust Into hell you will be thrust Satan is your just reward you don't get a fucking sword All the time you won't be bored Only flames just rest assured When my warnings you've ignored You'll be punished by the Lord Cast aside you are abhorred Grace will never be restored Jump, 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 motherfucker Jump, 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 motherfucker Just jump, 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 motherfucker Jump, jump Jump, jump, motherfucker, just jump, 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 motherfucker, jump, 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 motherfucker, just jump, 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 motherfucker, jump, 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 jump. What up, y'all? Jump, 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 motherfucker. Hell yeah. <clears throat> what it do, y'all? What it fucking do? How it be? <clears throat> Hells to the fuck yeah. We here, motherfuckers. Welcome. Welcome to the goddamn show, yo. Got some dope shit. <clears throat> dope shit to talk about. Okay, I'm just gonna admit it, guys. <clears throat> okay. So, uh... We all know Star Wars is garbage, right? We all know pretty much everything in Star Wars is, is pure fucking dog shit. Right? Every every movie, every fucking movie they've released since the original trilogy is bullshit. So, here's here's what I propose, guys. I've come up with it. I've figured out the ultimate way, 
the ultimate fucking way to revive Star Wars and make it so that we actually get fucking good, good stories in the future. Here it is, guys. And they don't even need to fucking act uh, too differently from how they have been. It's very simple, guys. Retcon everything. Hells yeah, dude. Fuck continuity. I'm fucking serious, yo. Fuck continuity. It's not... It, I think trying to, like, do continuity uh, uh, in a way... Uh, uh, try, trying to keep the Star Wars saga consistent uh, while also making it interesting has been one of its biggest fucking downfalls. I do believe that. I think trying to keep the series like super consistent, trying to make sure, hey, we can't contradict anything, have to make sure like I mean for one I mean <clears throat> for one just doing that has caused them to retcon several actually good fucking stories from the series, right? So uh <clears throat> Yeah, like, f fuck it all, yo. You know what? It, imagine a world, guys. Imagine. This is my dream. Yeah, fuck everything else I was going to talk about in today's stream. This is what we're talking about today. Imagine a fucking world, guys, where uh, every Star Wars movie that came out could be completely disconnected from every other fucking Star Wars movie that came out. At least in, in theory, right? So here here's here's what I envision, guys. Here's what I envision. I envision a world... Where you could make a Star Wars movie in a universe where Anakin didn't become Darth Vader. Yeah. I believe you could make a fucking Star Wars movie in, in a universe where uh, the Empire won. Where Darth Vader or, or, or Darth Sidious actually killed Luke. And nothing. Yeah. Oh, oh hell yeah. That's what I want to see. And... Overall, I want to see a fucking movie. Here's what I really want to see. And I've seen some fucking videos of some people like talking about this theory. And it's gotten me really interested, dude. I want to see a movie where uh, Qui-Gon Jinn never died at the end of Phantom Menace. That's what I want, yo. I love how they, the one good character, the one good idea they had for a character, they had to fucking kill off at the end of that movie. Like... Of all the dog shit in Phantom Menace, right? Think about this. They got rid of Qui-Gon Jinn, but kept Jar Jar. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty sad. So, uh, yeah. I, I want... I want a movie series, or I want one movie. I just want a, a movie or a game or something that takes place in a universe where Qui-Gon doesn't die and ends up raising Anakin, uh, uh, training Anakin himself. That would be an interesting fucking movie. Fuck all this bullshit. I don't need to see what happened to fucking Luke Skywalker's emo nephew. I don't need to fucking see... Uh, 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 fucking Han Solo be brought back just so he can be fucking killed. I don't need to see the, uh, intricacies of, of, of fucking Anakin's, uh, a wooden and unbelievable romance. I don't need any of that. You know what I need? I need some goddamn fucking fan fiction. You know, if, 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 I'm serious. If fan fiction writers were allowed to fucking make movies, like, movies would be way more interesting. Tell me they wouldn't be, Okay. Dude, these fucking big wig fucks that that they get paid like a ton of money to uh to fucking yeah to 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 fucking uh these people that get paid like a shit ton of money to write scripts that are clearly not any more talented than the fucking weebs on Reddit. What is this? God fucking damn, let's get some fucking new ideas up in this shit. I, f I fucking hate Hollywood. I hate it with a goddamn passion. And I hate Disney. And it, it sucks because I like certain Disney properties. And I like Star Wars as a concept. But honestly, I feel like fucking Star Wars has been totally wasted. 
Like, totally fucking... And now, Disney... I, I, you guys can tell, right? Since the acquisition of, of Star Wars, Disney is pretty much just becoming the fucking Star Wars company. That That's what they're doing, right? Like, look, look, look at how many new fucking Star Wars shows have been announced. There's gonna be a fucking show uh, uh, about Obi-Wan... It's going to bring back Ewan uh, McGregor and uh, uh, Hayden Christensen. Sounds like it's going to be a live action uh, show too, which is going to be interesting. But, you know, they're doing The Mandalorian. They're going to do some other shit. Like, th th there's a f they're, they're, they're still, oh, I guess The Clone Wars just finished, but they just started uh, Republic Heroes or whatever. Or I guess it's a few years old, whatever. But, like, all these shows, they're basically just the fucking Star Wars company now. That's, that's what fucking Disney is. And... Look, I can fucking forgive that if if they fucking get their heads out of their asses. Because it's clear there's some good ideas going around over there. But the good ideas aren't getting paid the big bucks. They're, they're, they're putting it in, like, shows and, and... Although, I will say this. Um, I do think that going with, with television shows is actually probably the way to go with the series. In fact, I don't know why they didn't just, like scrap the fucking prequel movie uh, prequel trilogy after the phantom menace and be like okay let's just make this a fucking tv series because you know what it w we would have been able to like delve into that prequel period in a in a way better uh, uh, way a, a way more expanded we could have like seen more of darth sidious we could have seen more of like the interesting shit that was actually going on in that time period instead of fucking jar jar binks and fucking uh uh, uh anakin and padme fucking a a acting like a, a a pair of fucking horny fucking 12 year olds who have never fucking uh, uh even seen a man and woman kiss before like <laughs> <clears throat> I swear to fucking God. <clears throat> There's some interesting sto uh, uh, themes and ideas in those movies, but goddamn, the direction is fucking terrible. Like, goddamn, the focus is off. Everything about it is just really, like, fucking... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's my little fucking Star Wars rant, okay? I'm... Look, I'll, I'm going to say this. I'm actually excited to see what they put out show-wise. But from what I've heard about what they're doing with The Mandalorian, it seems like they're still trying to, like, bend over backwards. And I still haven't seen The Mandalorian, by the way. But from what I can tell, it sounds like they're still trying to bend over backwards to keep the fucking sequel trilogy canon. And I'm not happy about that. I don't I don't want that, okay? Leave it alone. Like, seriously, wh why do we got to, like... Have shit that, like, connects in with the fucking bullshit fucking sequel trilogy that's pretty wi widely hated among Star Wars fans. And by the way, I don't care about the fucking normies and children outside of the fucking Star Wars fan base that'll just watch anything, okay? Those aren't the people you're supposed to be fucking appealing to. Because you know what? The fucking Star Wars fan base loves the original trilogy. And you know what? So does the general public, Okay? So, I feel like if you make a really good movie that appeals to the core fan base and is also good, like, other people will be interested in it because it's fucking Star Wars. Stop trying to, to appeal to everyone. It's fucking garbage. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> now give us the ballad of Jimmy Dore. Yeah, um, I was just going on a little bit of a, little bit of a, uh, uh, a pre, pre-topic, uh, tangent rant thingy. Okay. <clears throat> Feels like there was potential but wasted. Oh yeah, no, no. Th that's the thing. There was wasted potential with the C with the prequel trilogy as well, okay? I think there's actually some really interesting themes. I think if you pay close attention to the prequel trilogy, uh, uh, I, and I don't even think this is a hot take anymore, but like, oh yeah, like the uh, um, a huge theme of the prequel trilogy is that the Jedi Order is fucking garbage. 
they are arrogant fucking idiots. Like, <laughs> maybe some people have a more nuanced take of it, but holy shit. I view it as, like, basically the Jedi Order are just as much villains as the fucking uh, uh, Sith Empire. Like, they're just as bad. Okay, they're not, je like, obviously, like, Jedi are better people marginally, but, I mean, they're not that effective. They're not that good at, at, at doing shit that they need to do. Um, they're not at, that good at defending the universe and shit. Um, uh, I appreciate your help stopping Medicare for all. You should get your blue cross check in the mail later this week. Okay. All right. We're, we're doing this. <clears throat> we're doing this. Let's go. Let's fucking go guys. Fuck star Wars. <clears throat> The pre the pre uh, content ch tangent is now over. All right, let's talk about this. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start this segment by saying I'm for Medicare for all. I think Medicare for all is a really great idea. In fact, I think that um any other idea any other uh, uh healthcare expansion is woefully inadequate, okay? I also think that in advocating for Medicare for All, we need to do so in the most effective way possible. <laughs> What's your beef with? Um, well, <laughs> I'll get to that. So let's, uh... Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, my headphones. Let's take a look at uh, <clears throat> our good friend Jimmy Dore. You guys like Jimmy Dore, right? I know some of you like Jimmy Dore. <clears throat> so, uh, Jimmy Dore. <clears throat> it's not about Jimmy. Okay, that's fine. But Jimmy is the one making the argument, so he's the one I'm going to argue with. If you have anything you'd like to add... Feel free to add it in the chat. Let's focus on forcing the vote. <clears throat> okay. Guys, it's it's kind of hard to... This is... Okay, this is a multifaceted topic, all right? It's very hard to, to, to decide where to start on this. I'm starting with Jimmy Dore. So, Jimmy Dore <clears throat> has been uh, advocating for a while now for the idea of forcing a vote... Um, forcing a vote on Medicare for all, all right? Um, specifically, he wants AOC to refute, uh, uh, her and the fellow progressives, uh, in the Democratic Party to basically refuse to vote for Nancy Pelosi for speaker, uh, unless she agrees to put a Medicare for all vote on the, on the House floor. Now... On, on the surface, this sounds like a good idea, okay? I will, I, will, I will give it that. It sounds like a good idea. And if it were, um, if I believed it would have any positive outcome, I would be the first one up here advocating for this. But here's some of the problems, guys. First of all, and this should go without saying, but I feel like I do have to say it, all right? Even though I know some people, if, if I say it, some people are going to be like, oh, well, duh. Uh, what? You actually think? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Look, it should go without saying that this is not going to win, right? This is not Medicare for all. If it is voted on right now, it will not pass. It won't even pass the House, let alone the Senate. Okay? It's not going to pass. We know that. Okay? Even Jimmy Dore knows that. So, what's the point of doing this then? The point of doing this, I guess... <clears throat> well, no. Okay. The point of doing this, from what uh, uh, Jimmy Dore and those like him say, is to uh, is, is that this is going to discredit uh, uh, people that vote against Medicare for All. It's going to expose them. It's going to, uh, 
Very, yeah, very nebulous uh, 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 outcomes, honestly. I don't see that as, even if, okay, look, even if this does expose the uh, corporate Democrats who would refuse to vote for Medicare for all, I think we already know who they are, first of all, okay? I don't think we need any exposing. Um, I think we all know. What, what Democrats are likely to vote for it and whatnot, okay? But there might be a few surprises, sure. Um, on the other hand, okay, I think, I honestly think that this could backfire in a number of ways. I think that if Medicare for All fails in this way, it's going to make the idea itself look like it's, got no legs and it's not going to go anywhere if it gets if it gets fucking see y'all are thinking from a perspective of oh the democratic base is going to be so pissed so pissed at the fucking uh, democratic establishment for not doing what they want some of y'all will i think i really do like here's my pro here's one of my biggest problems with jimmy Dore's uh political advocacy it's not realistic y'all aren't living in reality okay the majority of the Democratic base is not going to die on this hill. They're not. Okay, 9 out of 10 Dems want universal health care. Sure. But I hate to break it to you guys. What Biden's advocating for, a public option, is also universal health care. Now, it's not as good. I under-fucking-stand that. It's not as good. Medicare for all would be infinitely better. And yes, during a pandemic, we absolutely could use some fucking Medicare for all. But trying to shove it in at this moment, I, I, I don't see it having any, because who's going to take, first of all, like who's going to take Medicare for all seriously? Once it's like, I, I know the way you guys are thinking again, it's like, oh, well, we'll just put it out there and then, uh, you know, the fucking base will get mad. And, and what do you really think that like, do you really think that the base is going to, uh, uh, what, like march on the DNC and say, no, we want Medicare for all now. We talked about doing that. If Bernie got fucking, uh, fucked over in the, in the, in the primary, did we do that? Nope. You know what I think is more likely to happen is that. When inevitably this Medicare for all vote, which isn't even going to, this is nothing is, none of this is going to happen, but when it inevitably gets shot down, it's going to, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to get shot down and everyone's going to look at it and be like, oh, so that's not a viable policy anyway. Why are we advocating for it? You guys have no idea. I have argued with so many fucking people on the left who refuse to advocate for certain things because they don't think it's politically viable. I mean, holy shit. During the primaries, I, I argued with people about voting for Bernie and I argued with people about Medicare for all because Medicare for all, I know you think nine out, nine out of 10 people want it. No, nine out of 10 people want universal health care. A lot more people, when you introduce the fact that, oh yeah, uh, Medicare for All also includes um, getting rid of all private uh, uh, insurance co uh, health insurance companies, which, again, is based as hell, and I, be I believe in that, but most people don't understand that. And so for a policy that some people are already fucking iffy on, to show them that it's not going to pass, I think is just going to further disenfranchise people. Just like I think Jimmy Dore's attitude right now is disenfranchising people and doing nothing but harm to the left. I'm How the fuck am I gaslighting, please? Give me a specific example of how the fuck I'm gaslighting. It's about healthcare as a human right. I agree with healthcare as a human right. I don't agree with obstinately fucking uh, 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 sticking our foot in the ground and saying, no, we refuse to move on this issue that we don't even have any leverage over. We don't even have, like... Guys, again, 
if if our super far lefty uh, uh, wing of the Democratic Party was the majority, and 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 if most people were 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 fucking yeah, people do just use gaslight as a buzzword. Um, the leverage is P Pelosi wants this job. P <sighs> what do you think is the? Do you really think that the likely outcome of this, of holding Pelosi's job hostage over her, is going to do anything to ingratiate uh, uh, progressive Democrats to 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 Nancy Pelosi, or do anything other than make her less willing to work with them? It doesn't make sense. Pelosi already doesn't want to work with the fucking... This, this is the thing I don't think you guys fucking understand. There are things that go on behind closed doors in the Democratic Party that we don't know about. There are strategies, certain things, certain decisions that have to be made that we don't understand. And I'm not going to sit here and, and look at AOC and Bernie Sanders and all these progressive Democrats and be like, oh, I know so much fucking more than them. And, 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 and they, they clearly, oh yeah, they, they, they're clearly being fucking like disingenuous here, even though they've said like AOC is out there Arguing for fucking Medicare for all constantly. She doesn't shut up about it. Do you really think that if there was a viable path to Medicare for all, she wouldn't be on that shit? <clears throat> uh, I, I, yeah, I really think she would be. Um, Pelosi is an enemy. She doesn't work with progressive dems at all right now okay so then maybe we should be advocating that they just don't vote for her not that they leverage their vote for her why aren't we talking about another fucking candidate for speaker why aren't we talking about who who they actually should be voting for instead something tells me it's because it, it's for one of uh, either one of two reasons because either one, that person doesn't have much of a chance of, of, of getting in. Or two, if they do, they're probably not going to be that much different from Pelosi. So basically trying to like force Pelosi into agreeing to something. We know she's not going to – like again, do you guys really think she's going to agree? Like all the fucking like – all, all the way down the line, first of all, Pelosi's not going to agree to uh, – uh, AOC's not going to do this, but Pelosi's not going to agree to it. Are you kidding? She'll tell them to go fuck themselves. Po Pelosi will agree to this bare minimum basic thing. Okay. Let's imagine she agrees to it, and then it gets voted on, and then it fails. You do understand, like, AOC, Ilhan Omar, Ju Justice Dems, they, they have only so much fucking political capital. Do you, do you really think they're going to gain any credibility by strong-arming Pelosi into supporting a policy that fails? She plans on spe being speaker for two years and retiring. She really wants to be speaker. Yeah, something tells me she she also could stand to just fucking retire right now. She probably has enough fucking money in the bank to just retire right now. Um I don't think she wants it that bad. This is a hostile takeover. Oh my god. This is so larpy. Do you people not see how larpy you're being? This is, we're going to take over the Democratic Party. We're going to come in. We're going to tell them what they want. We're going to make them listen to us. And when they don't, we're just going to keep screaming on the internet about how fucked up this, like, you know, the, we, we were actually like looking better than the Republicans for like a few weeks. We were actually managing to like look more professional and shit. Than, and, and now we're fucking falling into the same fucking tactics. Just, just, just obstinately whining because we think everything is fucking unfair. 
I think I missed your conclusion, but why is this a bad idea? Shouldn't we at least try? It's not going to get passed. If it does, uh, uh, it's not going to get passed. It's not going to get passed. Um, Pelosi's not going to agree to it. If Pelosi does agree to it, it's only going to piss her off more uh, with uh, AOC and the Justice Dems and make her less likely to agree to their uh, 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 ultimatums or whatever in the future. And um, uh, let's see what else. I don't know. Uh, st what? Stanford study, but you're calling a leftist LARP. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Everyone knows it won't get passed. AOC has zero Pelosi with uh, zero favor with Pelosi. Yeah, so let's put her in an even worse. God. That's my fucking point. Exactly. She has zero favor with Pelosi to begin with. She's only going to end up making herself look worse. And Pelosi will now have a talking point against her. Oh, look at her. Look at AOC sowing division in the Democratic Party in order to get us to vote on, on, on policies she knows won't get passed. Trying to try, to trying to take some kind of symbolic stand. You know this is what the establishment Dems are going to say. Like, the narrative about progressive Democrats is going to fucking be absolute dog shit. They already try to discredit us constantly. They, all tr they already try to make us look like ineffectuous idiots. This will only add fuel to that fire. And by the way, can I just fucking remind people, Biden isn't even fucking president yet. And we're not, we're, we're acting like this right now is the time to be like dying on the hill of Medicare for all. Because, 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 oh, we, I guess because we can't do anything about all of fucking Biden's, uh, uh, cabinet appointments that probably don't support Medicare for all. It, th this is what, this is what I want to get to. It really does feel like that this sort of, um, this sort of advocacy comes from a wing of, of, of lefties that are really disaffected by the fact that they, they know that they can't do any change. They can't have an effect on, on, on what they want. They can't get the things that they desperately want implemented. Implemented. So instead. They make these grand fucking symbolic token gestures. <coughs> Basically just trying to obstinately blow up the fucking system in any way they can. Because they're mad. That, that they didn't get any fucking concessions. I'm sorry. We live in a shitty fucking world. We live in an unfair world that doesn't mean we should throw away all of our fucking political capital for a fucking Hail Mary. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm acting hysterical. Nobody tells me to chill in my fucking chat, yo. <laughs> I will act as goddamn hysterical as I fucking want. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stop fighting for their approval. Fight for Medicare for all. You don't understand how politics works. I'm sorry. You don't. You don't. I don't either. But you know what? I know enough to know that yes, you need the favor of your you, you need the favor of your party in order to get anything fucking done. The point is to have the best talking point ever to take out any dem who opposes in 2020. What talking point? Again, guys, you are not foreseeing the talking points that you're going to give them against us. All you're foreseeing is some nebulous talking point that won't even work on most people. Because the, the establishment Dems are going to say, no, we weren't against universal health care. We were against the specific Medicare for all bill. Look, we're getting behind a, a public option. We're all for a public option. 
the majority of, of people in America do not understand the difference between a public option and Medicare for all. So acting as if they do and acting as if like acting as if you'll be able to convince people to what just not trust the Democrat. What 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 even is like the fucking I guess I, I guess the the outcome would be maybe that we'd have less a slightly easier time primarying uh, 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 incumbent uh, uh, establishment Democrats with with more progressive ones, maybe. Maybe. Again, it's a Hail Mary. Could blow up in our face. Could give them more fucking talking points against it. Could make fucking Medicare for All be viewed as completely unviable and as something that'll never pass and will never get voted on again. Uh... <clears throat> You voted to deny the American people from having health care during a pandemic. They're n <sighs> Okay, I'm going to make this very fucking simple for you guys. They're not voting against having health care. Most of the establishment Dems are for a public option. And most, uh, 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 most Americans don't understand the difference. No, I'm not afraid of making a case for Medicare for all. I've been doing it for a for for over a year, longer than that. I've been doing it on this channel for f a long fucking time, okay? I have been staunchly ad advocating for Medicare for all. The problem is it's still not a, a majority held position in this country. It's just not The Dems, the establishment Dems are still able to get away with the talking point that a public option is just as good. And again, it's not, and I completely disagree with it. And I think that the Democratic, that the, that the progressive Dems should, I repeat, should be fighting to push Medicare for all. And look, here's the thing. Guys, honestly, I'm 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 gonna say this. I'm not even against. I'm not even against AOC making this vote or or withholding her vote. I'm not against that. Okay. If she uses that, if if she listens to that strategy and says, "Hmm, you know what? That actually sounds like a good fucking strategy. I'm gonna do that. I will stand behind her." Okay. Here's my problem. And I'm going to play this video, okay? I, I think it's time to play this video. Because, and, and I want to make this clear. And, and this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop arguing with the chat now. Because I want to make it very clear what my problem here is, okay? I, wa I, I want you guys, everything I've set up until this point has been um, pretty, just a, just a meaningless semantics argument about whether or not I think this will be effective. And to go deeper, what I'm really contesting is whether or not I think that it's worth having the reaction that Jimmy Dore is having. That's my contention, and that's why I bring up Jimmy Dore. So let's watch this video, okay? I watched this we earlier. Can't this is a clip. Th th this is a bunch of clips. I, I think this is... I think this is just made by a, a fan of Jimmy Dore, but he retweeted it. So let's watch this, okay? I did, guys, I acknowledged, I acknowledged the possible positive outcomes of this. I said, I don't think it'll be effective. I think it's a Hail Mary, and I don't think it's worth it. But if it worked, if it works, amazing, amazing, based, epic. I just don't think it it'll work. Now, again, listen to me. I'm going to t my problem and I'll just say it before I I play this video. My problem with this whole thing is that this is causing more leftist infighting. Really unnecessary leftist infighting. And 
from people who, by the way, say they hate leftist infighting. Let's let's watch Jimmy Dore's reactions to 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 this whole situation. Let's let's watch his attitude and his demeanor. I, I want you guys to pay very close attention. Okay. We can't even get a floor vote on Medicare for all. That's garbage. You can do it right <laughs> now. We need. 15 Democrats. Hi, Jimmy. We need the elected officials that you helped get elected to tell Nancy Pelosi that you will not vote for her as speaker unless Medicare for All is put on the House floor for a vote. I think it's a really smart idea. You know, the worst abuse of power, Crystal, is not using the power you have to fight mm. for people. Will they? Time to let AOC know they have no other option because we're watching and we Did see through wait. their bullshit excuses. We have Wait, okay, so a couple of points there. First of all, they have no other option. <sighs> See, again, you're not in AOC's position. I don't think, I really don't think Jimmy Dore is in any position to be uh, 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 making claims about what options AOC does or doesn't have. Um, but, okay, wait, what, what was the last point there? Um put public pressure on them i want to see who's gonna vote God through their bullshit excuses oh excuses right okay so he, here's the a framing that i don't like okay everything yeah when 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 aoc uh says she can't do this it's just bullshit excuses i really hate that framing because aoc is actually out there uh, fighting up against a whirlwind of, of, of fucking establishment bullshit. This is, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> hang on. This is a pep rally, uh, cry, not a call, uh, a call to action type video compilation. It gets you hype. Don't expect nuance from it. Oh no, no, no. I'm going to expect fuck it. Look, <clears throat> I'm going to examine this video for what it's fucking uh, uh, saying because the, the attitude here, the attitude here and the attitude, you know, because I've seen a lot of the segments that, that this is being clipped out from a lot of the attitude that I've seen Jimmy Dore have towards AOC is very antagonistic, very antagonistic. Okay. The distrust that is being sown towards progressive democrats that honestly we we need to be fighting to get more like we can uh, uh, uh aoc is talking about how we can't even get medicare for all on the house floor and what do you think the solution is to that get more fucking progressive democrats in the fucking house but um <clears throat> look i know that takes time right um we got to uh <clears throat> They're politicians. Their job is to do what you say. <sighs> Their job is not to... D Dude, if they just did everything the people said... First of all, okay. Their job, yes, is to serve the people, okay? I want to remind you guys, again, we are not the majority of the Democratic Party. Social Democrats... Uh, uh, socialists, social democrats, and democratic socialists are not the majority of the democratic party. So when uh, uh, they say they're serving the people, they actually, I'm sorry to say it, but supporting a public option over Medicare for all kind of is serving the, 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 the democratic base because that's actually what a majority of democrats agree to. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. I want to go farther left too. I really fucking do. I want to go farther left a decade ago. But we're not there yet. We have to live in reality. We have to put public pressure on them. I want to see who's going to vote against health care in the middle of a pandemic. If you're not going to do it now, you are never going to do it. You okay. I hate that line as well. If you're not going to do it now, you're never going to excuse me. Again, Jimmy Dore, 
brilliant political fucking strategist Jimmy Dore claims to know all the ins and outs of 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 the political strategy and and claims to know uh uh <laughs> That he, yeah, yeah. If they don't vote for it now, there, there's no uh, future scenario that they might be planning on on trying to get it done. Or there's no like, what? Is, like, what is this ridiculously fallacious reasoning? If they're not gonna do it now, then they're not gonna do it ever. Like, what? You could have said that about anything in history, dude. Say that about the fucking moon landing a hundred years ago. Well, we're not going to go to the moon. Hey, if we're not going to go to the moon now, then we're not going to go to the moon ever. What? This is what I'm talking about. Really fucking hyperbolic bullshit to try to, like, get people all emotionally worked up and angry in an attempt to what? To what? Blow up the system? Take as many of them down as with us as we can. Fuck Pelosi. If she doesn't fucking do what we say, then we're just going to fucking... We're going to fucking fuck her career over because she won't listen to us. I get it, Jimmy. I get it from all of you. I get you're angry. I'm angry too, okay? I just don't think that these fucking strategies are particularly effective. And I think that fucking dying on this hill, being so adamant and getting so worked up. Because look, I get worked up. I get fucking, I, I, I get loud and, and whatnot. But overall, I can chill. I can look at shit pragmatically and say, okay. Like, yeah, what? if? See, here's the thing. If AOC does this, I'm not going to be against it. I'm, I'm going to say I still don't think it'll work, but okay. But what I'm more concerned about is the fact that now if AOC doesn't do this, a bunch of Jimmy Dore fans are going to look at AOC the way the right looks at AOC. And I know this because I've been in lefty circles for years now that have done exactly this. That... Oh, why doesn't AOC do this? Why doesn't AOC do this? Oh, she must not be really for the people. Well, fuck AOC. AOC is not even advocating for us. She's garbage. <clears throat> what do you mean by I don't think this will work? Have you not been... See, this is the fucking problem. I really don't... I, I, I really don't feel like anyone has been... I don't feel like you've been listening to me, dude. I don't feel like you've been listening to me this entire fucking time. Are you brain dead? Like, I'm, tr I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be mean. I'm really fucking trying not to be mean here. Okay? Are, do, you, do you have, like... Are you behind in the stream by, like, several minutes? Are you, like... No, like, I, seriously. Like, I... I know. I don't think anyone thinks it's gonna pass. I've... I just spent 30 minutes explaining to you what I mean by it won't work. I don't think... <clears throat> I don't think that this is going to have the desired outcome that you think it will. This is about having a death blow against any politician denying people health care during a pandemic. You don't think that will be effective getting them replaced? No, I don't. No, I don't. Because Democrats have been voting against health care forever. You, you really, like... <sighs> also... They still are supporting a public option, and that will be their deflection every time one of you dipshits brings this up. Every fucking time one of you people go, huh, well, you voted against healthcare during a pandemic. They're just, no, I'm not. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I voted for an extremely unpopular bill that loses uh, 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 thousands of people their jobs in the in the health insurance industry. And I voted for a public option which covers 97% of Americans. And most Americans are going to hear that and say, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, you didn't vote against healthcare during a pandemic. You just voted against a certain bill. Doomer alert. I'm going to ban you, dude. No. 
<laughs> no one calls me a doomer in my chat. Do you watch this channel? I am the most anti-doomer motherfucker. Do you know why I'm mad at Jimmy Dore here? Because I view Jimmy Dore as the ultimate fucking doomer. Never advocating for any solutions except when it's some fucking cynical, obstinate fucking token gesture that's never gonna work in the first place. Like, oh, let's not even vote. I'm not even going to vote for Joe Biden. Huh. Let's not forget that's what he was advocating for a few fucking weeks ago. So after fucking Jimmy Dore goes around saying, oh, oh, fuck the Democratic establishment. Fuck them. They, they don't even do nothing. Fuck Biden. Oh, there's no point. Now he's like, Oh, well, you know what? Well, Joe Biden's president, but well, fuck, fuck the Democrats, fuck Pelosi. You know what? We should, we should fucking, we should, uh, uh, greatly risk the careers of some of our most progressive Democrats, uh, uh, in order to fucking get a token bill voted on, uh, 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 which, which, which may have some... Which, which, which may have some political, uh, 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 str uh, 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 strategic uh, 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 weight in the future, possibly, perhaps. Like, what is <laughs> his position? Was voting third party and yeah, that was re that's really fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah, really fucking dumb. Okay, when 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 we have a fucking fascist in office, and 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 we need as many democratic seats as possible. We need. To fucking blow out the Republican Party? Yeah. Voting for third party is fucking stupid. It's not viable. It's not going to have any possible fucking outcome. Any positive outcome. It's just not. It's not. It's a waste of a vote. It's a waste. I, I fully believe that. Yeah. Fanatics are waiting for the true leftist to come down from the heavens and enact all leftist policy at once. Yeah, dude, this is what, the, unironically though, this is what I'm saying. Uh, 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 this, this, and, and this is, don't get it wrong. This is from like the, the, the remnants of like the Bernie or bust crowd. The fucking, uh, 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 the leftist doomer crowd that all just is, is, is <laughs> that they get so fucking, uh, 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 dejected and disenfranchised when every little thing doesn't go their way. Instead of, see, people like me, I look at shit and I'm, I'm pragmatic. I try to, okay, okay, yeah, I don't think this positive thing is gonna necessarily happen anyway. I'm still gonna advocate for it. And, again, if I thought this was a positive thing, I'd, I'd still be advocating for it. I think it's silly. I think it's LARPy. I think it's cynical as fuck. And I think Jimmy Dore knows that it's fucking dumb. I think he knows it's fucking dumb. I think he's just mad at AOC. He's mad because she's not as effective as, as he would like her to be. But the fact is, Jimmy Dore is more mad at the system than any, anything else. But he takes out that frustration clearly on people like AOC. Make some points instead of call name calling. Okay, you're timed out. I have been making points this entire fucking stream. I love how I I I I I, I, I resort to name calling like fucking once, dude. Like fucking once, and like now and and it's like oh, oh don't name call. Make some actual points. Literally, I've been making very cogent points this entire fucking stream. I can't call someone a dipshit while I'm also making good points. Yeah, you also called me a doomer, which is fucking hilarious. Dumb as fuck, too. God fucking damn. <laughs> no, I don't I don't ban people for 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 uh 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 shit that minor. I, I just I just timed them out because holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Okay. Whew. God. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm just getting I'm I'm <laughs> Is this going in circles? I'm the doomer. We do this and lose nothing. Wrong! Wrong! We do this and AOC loses credibility with the with the Democratic establishment. <laughs> Pretty sure it was it's just a troll job anyway. Yeah, probably. I Okay.
Let's listen to the rest of this video. I, I do have more uh, things to point out. You phony. All the people who filled up your voicemail, they're going to remember whether you did the right thing here. Which side are they really on? This is where you force- See, a more, more fucking like, uh, 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 gesturing at, at the idea that, yeah, AOC is not really on your side. She's not on your side. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry to say it, but this feels like a right-wing misinfo campaign. This feels- like some CIA shit. I'm just gonna let that, just gonna let that hang. This video is not based, by the way. Progressive House members to reveal who they answer to. Do they answer to their constituents or do they answer to the party bosses? Listen to AOC's own words. The Democratic Party does not do more unless it is pushed. And so this moment. See. I love the fact she she says that. She clearly knows that. If she thought that pushing them in this way was going to be effective in any possible way, she would do it. Moment is the great unmasking. Force it to happen. Ask them, are you fighters or are you careerists? Are you activists for the people or are you posers? on Twitter. Everyone's going to try to tell you that if you're just a little bit nicer, then it'll be fine. No. The whole point of protesting is to make people uncomfortable. You got to make them uncomfortable. She's pretending to be part of a movement when she's really running cover for Nancy Pelosi. Okay. That right there is a very specific allegation. Movement when she's really running cover uncomfortable. She's pretending to be part of a movement when she's really running cover for Nancy Pelosi. She's pretending to be part of a movement, but she's really running cover for Nancy Pelosi. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Do you have anything, anything substantial to pa to, to to back that up? With the amount that AOC clashes. With Pelosi already? What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck? <laughs> what? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is sowing division in the left. This is 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 making us less effective. This is tearing us apart. This is not good. When this kind of doubt is sown among the left from our own, like, like it, <laughs> I already have to argue with lefties on a daily fucking basis who think AOC is trash. And then you try to, like, point out to them the stuff that AOC has actually gotten done. And then they're just like, oh, well, it's not enough. It's never enough. As if what? AOC is the fucking president has unlimited power. You're going to fucking smear her and, and act like she's the enemy just because the system is stacked against her and she doesn't want to make extremely risky career moves that could jeopardize her ability to affect change in the future. Fuck you, Jimmy Dore. <laughs> uh, you're really censoring me because I disagree with your views? No, I timed you out because you were being annoying. <laughs> okay? I timed you out because you were ignoring my fucking points throughout this entire stream, and then the one time I resort to a fucking ad hom, you're like, uh, maybe you should make some points instead of name-calling. Maybe you should listen to what people say instead instead of just waiting to type in your next fucking inane fucking comment. God fucking damn. Whew. Did you think anybody voted for you so you could vote Nancy Pelosi without getting them anything? <laughs> this is Medicare for all. People's actual lives depend on us doing this. Yeah, exactly. Now it's your chance to actually use your leverage. Will you? Take risks. Or will you be a party fucking climber? 
start bringing the ruckus on the Democratic Party. Force it to happen. Do not trust any political party to automatically work in your interest. I call on everybody in independent media to join this mission. Force it to happen. Force the Congress to show which side are they really on. No vote for Nancy Pelosi unless Medicare for All is put on the House floor for a vote. So we need to push them. So again, yeah, I'm not against a lot of the sentiment of what Jimmy is saying there. Yeah, the Democrats, the, the Democrats suck. Pelosi sucks. Uh, Medicare for All is extremely important. I agree with all of that. What I hate here. And he retweeted this, okay? So he clearly agrees with this framing. I hate the framing of, uh, is AOC for the party or is she against the party? As if that's the only two options here. As if maybe she doesn't have her own reasons for not doing this. But see, the way Jimmy Dore is framing this is that if AOC does not do this, she is against you. And that's not, that's, that's not necessarily true. That's definitely not true. Uh, <clears throat> from the start, I said this isn't about Jimmy. He started it. How about Brianna Joy Gray, Kyle Kalinske? Yeah, I disagree with all of them. And I, I dude, I'm, I, 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 I definitely, like, this whole thing started because I, I, I commented on a Jimmy Dore. Not Jimmy Dore. I, I commented on a... Where is it? I commented on a, a, a Kyle Kalinske tweet. Okay. And, um... And maybe I should have started with this. Because Kyle Kalinske... And, and see, yeah. Kyle Kalinske tweeted out, A common criticism of Jimmy Dore is that he's so cynical he creates apolitical nihilists. Uh, misusing the word nihilist, but okay. Uh, then he directly get uh, he gets directly involved and tells people to make phone calls, pressure politicians, fight under the current system for the solutions, uh, uh, and people don't like that either. Make up your mind. And I said, maybe it's because even his so-called solutions are cynical and ineffective. He doesn't advocate for anything that would lead to real change, just obstinate token gest gestures that have no effect other than to further disenfranchise lefties when things don't go exactly their way. And uh, this tweet kind of blew up, at least relative to my size, uh, <clears throat> mostly in part because TJ <laughs> commented on it there and uh, gave it a like. Um, and I've basically been arguing with people like constantly about this. Okay. And I, I've, I've made my points very clear. Um, here, where's the rest of this shit? Uh, I'll just go to this part. Um, cause look, I think. Uh, uh, Kyle is being kind of dumb too. I really, uh, we all know it's not ineffective. I told you how I just told, see, this is the part. This is the problem, dude. We're talking past each other. I'm li I'm not talking past you. Honestly, I'm listening to what you're saying. I'm telling you why I think that won't be effective, but you're like, so yeah, we clearly are talking past each other. This whole thing is pointless. But that's kind of my point overall. This whole thing is pointless. Even if it does have the fucking desired outcome, do y'all really think that's going to fucking, that's going to be the turning tide for the fucking Democratic Party? This is going to be the thing that like changes the whole fucking way thing? Like, no. Like, you have to realize there's there's got to be like a a, a risk benefit analysis. Like shit, dude. Again, the more votes it gets, the more legitimately the more legitimacy and mainstream acceptability. Oh my god. It shows the paradigms fighting to give people health care and it's a kill shot to any dem voting against it. I just fucking explained to you why it's not a kill shot against any dem voting against it. I just fucking explained to you you fucking dipshit. I'm gonna this is the last time I'm gonna say it. 
the line? Uh, duh, like, uh, you voted against healthcare during a pandemic is gonna be fucking responded to by, no, I didn't. I voted for a public option. What I didn't vote for is Medicare for all, which is unpopular and never gonna, uh, and was never gonna get passed in the Senate anyway. How many Democrats do you think are gonna just be like, well, yeah, no, it, it wasn't gonna get passed in the Senate, so why would I vote for it? Th this, this could have, like, hurt my career if I voted for it, so I wasn't going to. And I'm sorry, you guys think, <clears throat> well, yeah, now they've shown themselves for, for the fucking corporate shills they are. That doesn't fucking matter. Those of us who don't like corporate shills are in the fucking minority. You dipshit. Those of us who would get angry at the fact that they care more about their careers than Medicare for all or, or than uh, uh, voting on this token gesture we are in the fucking minority you fucking idiots this is where i say the larping comes in you people are larping you're larping you think that that that, that like there's going to be like a socialist revolution or a sock dem revolution in the democratic party it's not happening it's not i'm sorry it's not happening anyway i'm going to i'm going to stop responding to the to the dumbass fucking chat here I'm gonna look some more at these fucking tweets because, uh, here's, uh, here's something I found, uh, yeah, the majority report commented on this, and it's something I, I agreed with completely, um, oh, actually, hang on, I'll, I'll look at that in a second, um, yeah, here's, here's what else I, I, I've been saying about this, um, so I also tweeted at Kyle Kalinske, do you really think it shows uh, – do you really think shows of political uh, defiance are actually effective within the Democratic Party? AOC is trying to affect change where it's actually possible. We know we – I know we need Medicare for all yesterday, but unfortunately, the House and the Senate aren't fucking there yet. And furthermore, Biden isn't even president yet, so will people calm the fuck down I – I mean this – Calm the fuck down. It sucks. We're not going to get much change in this country for at least another month, probably longer. So chill. Enjoy the fucking holidays. Uh, 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 literally, those of you who are getting all worked up about this, chill the fuck out. Do something in your own life that you actually have fucking control over. Focus on your own fucking life. This is fucking insane. We're acting like this is a fucking, like, guys, the Republican Party right now is literally on the verge of... Of, of having like a major historical split. And we're talking about doing the same thing over this? Chill. Chill. Guys. This isn't... <laughs> This isn't a fight worth having right now. If if you guys told me that that this was actually that yeah no this actually could get Medicare for all like if if I actually believed that Medicare getting for all uh, Medicare for all getting passed was an actual a uh, uh, possible outcome maybe then I'd see you guys' point getting all worked up about this. Not going to chill for Medicare for all. Oh my God, you fucking dipshit. In a month, I will be out there with you, screaming at the top of my lungs for Medicare for All. Okay? I'll join you. I mean, I still have been. I'm still very pro-Medicare for All. I'm pro it. Guys, you know, actually, you know what makes me mad? Unironically, this is an anti-Medicare for All uh, 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 proposition. It literally is. This is only going to hurt the viability of Medicare for All. It's only going to hurt the careers of the politicians who are most likely to vote for Medicare for All. Yeah, if, if, if I didn't know any better, I'd say, yeah, Jimmy Dore is a fucking CIA plant who is staunchly against Medicare for All and AOC and wants to ruin their viability for the next four years. I know that's not the case. I know that in reality, Jimmy Dore is just a really ineffective, LARPy fucking idiot who uh, 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 fancies himself some kind of like expert political pundit. But really all he is 
is a left-wing reactionary. That's what he is. He's a left-wing reactionary. This is nothing but reactionary bullshit. So, um... <clears throat> What? This is the only opportunity to get it for a, to a floor vote for four years. This isn't. This isn't an opportunity to throw. This isn't an opportunity. Period. It's not viable. It's not an effective tool against corrupt Dems opposed to Medicare for all. I just explained to you how it's not. I just explained. Guys! You fucking did- No, 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 no. If the right is able to be so effective with these dishonest talking points, what makes you think that the democratic establishments aren't going to use the exact same thing to make- Oh my god. Ugh, ugh, fucking shit. Holy fuck. Fucking shit. <laughs> this is fucking... Can you call in? Why? So I can repeat all of this and get more fucking frustrated? You're clearly not listening to my fucking points. So what's the goddamn point? Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking shit. Why are you so scared to have the public fight over Medicare for all? I'm not. Oh, my God. I'm not scared. I'm saying it's dumb. <laughs> okay. It's not massively popular. It's not massively popular. It's only popular before it's framed as... Uh, abolishing all private insurance. Before you frame it as abolishing all private insurance, yes, it has a high approval rating. Once you add that caveat, a lot of vote, uh, a lot of voters say no. Okay. <sighs> also, again, this is gonna give the this is also gonna give the right talking points too. This is going to give the right the talking point of, oh, look how ineffective the, the left is. Look how they infight and, and they don't even know what they want. And, they, and and people like AOC push for dumb policies that don't get. I'm sorry. No, you. this is going to hurt AOC. This is only going to fucking hurt AOC. We already know who supports AOC and who doesn't. Yep. Uh, most likely it won't pass, just uh, thus making it more difficult to pass in the future. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting too worked up about this. I am. I am. I need to chill. I'm a chill. Especially because I'm telling y'all to chill. Y'all need to chill too, okay? Guys, what this is, like, what this comes down to, and I... Guys, okay, you in the chat, you, uh, 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 under, under ball butter, okay? I want you to take a deep breath, okay? I want you to... Uh, take a deep breath with me, Okay? We're chill. We're chill. What I'm trying to get across to people here, okay? And I'm trying to not get too worked up because I'm getting worked up. The only reason I'm getting worked up is just because I think that this argument is fucking stupid, okay? And I think that the investment that a lot of you people have in this idea is really stupid. But let me make this clear. I think that this is a very, very, uh, 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 what's the word? I think this is really a, a, a non-issue. I think this is a, a, a minor disagreement at best between, uh, 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 political advocates who have different ideas on how to move forward, Okay. The reason I brought up Jimmy Dore, and I said this already, but I'm going to say it again. The reason I brought up Jimmy Dore is because I feel like his attitude regarding this is not helping. It's not helping the left. It's not even helping this uh, plan of his 
gain credibility. Um, I think it's just making him look more petulant, more uh, uh, obstinate, more uh, like more of just a fucking doomer. That's my opinion. What's not an what's not opinion? What is fact? This is fact. Arguments like this sow division in the left. Okay? Acting like this is a hill worth dying on. Acting like this is something that we need to be vehemently arguing against other leftists with is silly. It's silly. This is what I'm trying to say. If you want to advocate for this strategy, go do it. Here's what I will not tolerate. Making assumptions about AOC's character and intentions based on whether or not she agrees with you that this strategy is viable? What is that? One of our biggest allies? Really? You're going to shit on one of our biggest allies because we have a difference in agreement when it comes to political strategy? Holy fuck. Chill. Advocate for what you think the strategy should be. But if the people whose actual careers are riding on it, by the way, happen to disagree with you, on strategy, okay, you got two options at this point, Jimmy Dore. You can either call it a day, say, okay, we have disagreements. Clearly, AOC doesn't view my strategy as viable, so okay. Or, go run yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> go, go, go run Go run for Senate, your goddamn self, and you stand up to Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> okay? I'm serious. AOC is a big girl. She can take it. Politicians need to be held accountable. But this isn't a... Guys, you're talking about holding her accountable as if this is some egregious fucking act that she's uh, uh, taking against the, the, the American people. This is a difference in fucking uh, uh, opinion regarding political efficacy here. This is not a betrayal of the American people. Again, for all, you don't know that, oh, either they vote for this now or they vote for it never. For all you know, AOC has a fucking plan to push Medicare for all next week. Okay? strawmanning her and that's the straw man here as anti-left anti her constituency is fucking ridiculous and for someone who claims to be on the left to be just a relentlessly attacking AOC for something that like Again, okay, you think this would work. Clearly she disagrees. 70% of Americans have supported Medicare for All since 2018. Popular opinions have no influence uh, without the backing of large multinational corporations. Yeah, true. Um, they also have uh, uh, no influence without the backing of uh, yeah, politicians who actually agree with... The, like. Again, like, you guys are acting like, oh, we got to expose these Democrats that won't vote for Medicare for... They're exposed. We already know who they are. I'm sorry, like... We can't even get a floor vote. Sorry. These people, these people that it scrolls through at the end, we know are probably about the only Democrats that will vote for Medicare for all. Like, if you can put together a slide of all the people that you're reaching out to to be like, please, you have to do this, you support Medicare for all, you have to do... Then you should know... You should know 
the yeah no i know you're agreeing with me this, this, we already know who doesn't agree with this we know who's on our side and who isn't these people are on our fucking side yeah all of these people are on our side what we shouldn't be doing is screaming from the rooftops, reeing like children about strategies that could potentially harm their careers and make them less politically effective. I'm not okay with that. Your idea of politics is backwards. We make demands from them. We're telling them what to fight for, uh, to fight for what we elected them to fight for. No, you're living in backwards land because you know what? I am fully aware that that is how democracy is supposed to work, but I'm also aware of the fact that we don't live in that country. We, we're in America, okay? And as much as I hate it, there's certain ways that things are done. And we can't just fucking throw a fucking wrench into the system anytime we don't like the way things are done in this country. It's going to make us look like a bunch of petulant children, and it's not going to help our cause. I love you. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> can we move on because this guy is either dumb or a troll? Yeah, no, I'm moving on. I'm, I'm, I, I stayed on this topic way too long. Okay. <laughs> This is why I'm not bringing this person on, by the way. I, I would, if you'd have asked to, to call in, like, at the beginning of this stream, I might have I might have done it. But the fact that I've already argued in circles with you for the last hour now, and, like, like d d d yeah, it would be pointless, okay? Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. Um, I got, I got, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's cleanse the palate, guys. I got, I got something else I wanted to look at here before we, uh, end. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, yeah, no more, no more of this. No more. I'm done. I'm done. Guys, guys, it's over. Okay? If you, if you guys bring up, uh, uh, Jimmy Dore or Medicare for All again in this stream, you're banned. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I love you. I'm not banning people. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway, um... Unless you do it repeatedly and annoyingly, but okay. Let's take a look at a thing, okay? Oh my god. Whew. Okay, so this is a whole other level of stupid, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god, you're threatening to, like, uh, censor people. Yeah. Dude, I run a community here where I don't buy into the fear-mongering about, oh my god, censorship. No, if people are annoying me, I ban them, okay? Yeah. If I say new topic and, and the chat is flooded with people still talking about an old topic, yeah, I'm going to start banning people or timing people out or telling people to shut the fuck up. Because you know what? Um, I like the chat to, to, to be on topic. And not talking about some other bullshit. And not just being annoying and uh, dishonestly fucking uh, pretending I didn't say shit that I said. So, yeah, there, there's 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 levels to it, okay? I, I ban people for good reasons. I time people out for being annoying, okay? If you if you disagree with me and think you're not being annoying, then <laughs> I agree to disagree, I guess. Uh, I really hope you come around and help move Medicare for All forward fuck off i said i was done i said i was done <laughs> my god i've been fucking arguing a fucking pro medicare for all before oh my god get the fuck out of here dude i know of several fucking youtubers who, who and, and 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 lefties uh who are still on the fence about medicare for all when i was vehemently fucking uh uh, uh pushing it a year ago and still continue to, and will not stop. And if you want to dishonestly frame my position as being against Medicare for all, or or somehow impeding it, when I think this is actually impeding, yeah, fuck off. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. 
Okay. <clears throat> oh, whew, fuck. Okay. We good. We good. We done. Okay. Time for some Prager you. So, guys. Guys. I have good news for you, okay? Um, Prager you is putting out a brand new Christmas album that is made especially for lefties. And uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy um, this. Yeah, this is this is some brilliant comedy right here, guys. <laughs> this is some brilliant. So, uh, yes, progressive sounds of the season with Will Witt. All right, let's uh, let's watch. Thank you for confirming in my mind that you are, in fact, a troll, by the way. That last comment. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Oh, didn't see you there. We all love this time of year, especially the songs. But let's yeah. be honest. Many of the Good classic game. songs we grew up with are just out of date for our time, filled with atrocious things like acknowledging differences in genders, celebrating the nuclear family, and appreciating traditions and history. Yeah, that, that, that stuff is all pretty fucking shitty. It's, uh, uh, yeah, fuck the nuclear family. Uh, fuck uh, uh, differences in gender. What does that even mean? Gender is a social construct. And what, uh, traditions through history? I, I mean, some traditions are fucking dumb. There's a reason why we grow out of certain traditions and stop doing them. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh no! They prop up things that we that 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 our society is as as mostly like moved past and realized is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Just like wishing people a merry Christmas is obviously bigoted and outdated. It's time to bring holiday songs. Oh yes, of course, merry Christmas is bigoted and outdated because as we've all established here, uh, yes, uh, uh, inclusion is actually discrimination. Right. Yes. When we expand something to include more groups, we're actually discriminating against uh, uh, the group that got to exclude everyone else in the first place. So when we say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas, you know, you would think we're actually trying to include people who celebrate Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. But what we're actually trying to do is a uh, uh, shit on the Christians who celebrate Christmas. Yes, you, you got it. You got it, buddy. In a fucking uh, uh, country that the majority of people here celebrate Christmas and nothing else. Yep, you got it. Okay. What, what what's the solution? You know, we we need something. We need something better. What 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 do you got for us, Will Will Wit? Songs into the 21st century by updating them with political correctness. So we're pleased to introduce progressive sounds of the season, modernizing all those cherished classics you know and love, such as. Silent, mostly peaceful night. I'll be woke for Christmas. Deck the halls. Fa la 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 lockdown. Oh my De god. See. Uh, <sighs> see. I love how they've just lumped in the idea of, of, of being pro lockdown and pro uh, 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 COVID measures as being like lefty. Oh yeah, this is super. Cr no, what? What are you? Cringe? This is this is the height of comedy, guys. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Will Witt is a brilliant comedian. Yeah, dude, he he belongs uh <clears throat> he he needs his own uh his 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 own uh 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 fucking uh yeah, uh, uh recurring slot at the at the comedy store, you know? He needs a <laughs> he he needs a he needs a, a several HBO specials stat like, "Oh yeah, this this dude Holy fucking shit! I've, I've <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious. No, I, I, I'm serious. Let's listen to more. You guys aren't enjoying this. You guys don't understand comedy. You just don't understand. Yeah. Here, may, maybe you'll understand if you listen to some more. Destroy freedom with regulations. Fa la 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 la. Lockdown. Use no logic and no reason fa la 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 lockdown okay i love it cuz that second line <laughs> that second line is a very uh yeah i love the projection there use no logic and no reason uh pretty much every conservative everywhere but yeah we, fa la 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 lockdown oh my god yeah we're destroying the christmas spirit guys we don't want to give grandma covid we don't want grandma to die of covid because we fucking went to 
the Christmas and, and, and you know, she, she fucking contracted COVID from fucking little Jimmy who was fucking sent to school, which doesn't have great fucking COVID regulations and now fucking spreading COVID to the whole family. My God, you fucking hyperbolic fucks, dude. <laughs> No, dude, it's... <laughs> uh, when I trans my gender to female, I lost my sense of humor. Damn. Um, <laughs> I feel like my sense of humor has only gotten better. You know? Maybe that's just a, maybe that's just a you thing. I don't know. I, fe I, feel like I've, my, I feel like my sense of humor has definitely gotten more nuanced. Which is why I can ex uh, appreciate the uh, extreme brilliance, okay... In this, uh, in this, in this, uh, routine here. This is brilliant, yeah. Perfect for while you're mixing the- Yeah, no, girls aren't funny. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Girls are not funny, okay? Anyone who thinks girls are funny, look, okay? I have one refutation for you. Simple. Two words. Two words, guys, if you think women are funny. Amy Schumer. Okay, that's it. That <laughs> Amy. Amy. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that's pretty like that's pretty fucking substantial evidence right there, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, what? Okay? Look, I'm a, I'm as big a feminist as the rest of you. Hashtag #girl power, hashtag #girl boss, whatever, okay? Yes, but uh yeah, yeah, we're not funny. Obviously, yeah. The more you know. <laughs> yep. Okay. Let's 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 see more. There, there, there's there's more. There are more more beautiful gems in this, guys. Listen to some more of these gems. In those Molotov cocktails, holly jolly protest. One of my personal favorites, the little looter boy, rioting around the Christmas tree. For all my Latinx compadres out there. Police Antifa. I feel like that's like. Look, look, I'm not going to say those 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 last ones there were like. Outright racist. But especially that last one, right? Little dog whistly, little little, little bit, little bit. OK, <laughs> um, am I the only one? OK, too bad. These songs aren't real. Yeah, I want to hear these songs, dude. <laughs> um. I am a poor boy too, I'm looting the shops, looting the shops. George Floyd is dead and I am angry now. <laughs> Burn down the shops. I don't know, I can't. I, I'm not Paul's ego, okay? I can't, I can't like come up with parody lyrics uh, <laughs> on the spot. Uh. I have to. <laughs> I wish we had Paul's ego on here right now, just just for that alone. I I, I want you know, I want Paul to come up with lyrics for these songs. <laughs> okay. Um, let's listen to more. White privilege Christmas. You'll be sorry after hearing this one. I. Oh oh, we get to hear it too. Okay. I'm renouncing my white privilege this Christmas. Damn. Just so my friends will think I'm woke. I mean... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm renouncing my white privilege this Christmas, guys. I got my fr Look, guys. Honestly, and this is true, okay? If you want to be a true political advocate... Um, yeah, that, that's, that's all you need to do this Christmas. Just renounce your white privilege and everything will be okay. He's right. He's right. This guy has a very, uh, <clears throat> very keen, um, uh, 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 take on the left. He, he's very insightful. Give reparations to black children. Straight white men shut up and listen to hear. I love how reparations. It's, I still see. Okay, by the way, I do think that when they use the the, the when they uh uh yeah when 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 they when they cite reparations as a joke, yeah, that is dog whistly. That is racist. Okay, and I could get into all the reasons why being anti reparations is racist, but yeah, 
I won't bother. Um, by the way, I'm not gonna get into why I uh, I don't like the uh, no I I don't like the nuclear family. I'm not gonna get into my fucking uh, uh ideas for alternatives here. That would take an entire stream of its own, and I've already talked about it on other streams. I'll pr I'll do one in the future, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> it's too uh too involved. Hear a speech from Robin D'Angelo. One that's good for the whole family. By the way, the, the, this guy is again. This isn't even funny. Like the, 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 uh, this is just such low energy sheer, uh, lo, low energy shit tier fucking uh, uh, content. I can't even call it comedy. Okay, this isn't comedy. This is insulting to the good name of comedy. That being said, let's listen to some more. Eh, hey, hey, you guys want some more? I know you guys want some more. Let's listen to some more. All I want for Christmas is you to wear a mask. True! Based. Based. That is all I want for Christmas. You know what? Let's make that the Christmas song that plays everywhere for the rest of the season. Yes. All I want for Christmas is you to wear a mask. You fucking COVID spreading idiots. Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. Uh, just stop it, Jamie. I'm straight up getting brain cancer. No. No, you have to, you have to sit through it, guys. Guys, Prager, you, guys, Prager, you delivers us this, this, this comedy gem, this, this gem of fucking comedy here, and and you can't even appreciate it, guys, guys. You know what? I think us lefties really are snowflakes. You know what? I think you just can't take a joke. I think we're, I think you're getting burned hard here, and you just, you're. It, it hurts, yo. You're getting butt hurt. The, these songs are really fucking cutting, you know? It's like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Gay space communism would be cool. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> First thing we agree on uh, entire stream, dude. <laughs> I'm with you there. Okay. I'll be homeless for Christmas. The 12 days to slow the spread of Christmas. I saw daddy kissing Santa Claus. Okay, wait, wait. I saw daddy kissing Santa Claus. That so that one is just like cuz yeah, what what would be the problem with that song by the way? I feel like the only reason you'd have a problem with that is because you're a fucking homophobe, right? Because isn't that song already about adultery? Right? You like a uh, 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 traditionalist fucking conservatives? Like, uh, y you don't have a problem? You don't have a problem with the song about uh, a, a kid seeing their, their fucking mommy kissing someone who's... <laughs> I mean, what? Or is the implication of the song supposed to be that, that daddy is Santa Claus? Is that the... Is that... I, I don't know, dude. But but I mean in a in a if yeah yeah if you're singing the song to like a, a, a if a kid hears it they think I mean they think Santa Claus is real so to a kid it's a song about uh, uh mommy li literally kissing Santa Claus right <laughs> so uh, yeah I, what what's wrong with it being about daddy kissing Santa Claus I want to see that I I want uh, oh fuck yeah dude who's who's a uh, who's who's a uh, who's a good uh. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, what'd be hot. I'm gonna say this right now. Th th this will be hot. I, I, l let's let's get like a, a a video clip. Let's let's get Vosh, and uh, let's let's get like TJ dressed up as Santa Claus. Let's let's, let's just have like a. <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I yeah. We we need a. I want I want gay Santa Claus, dude. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I want to. I want to see. Uh, yeah. The only reason I bring up Vosh is because he's he's the leftist daddy. <laughs> he's 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 the he's yeah. Or or we could go with uh, America's dad, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> Jamie's fantasy was just about to slip for a second. <laughs> I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Fifth motherfucker. Damn right. It's my favorite amendment. Fifth. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, bitch.
Uh, <clears throat> Vosh and Hassan are on garbage. Uh, are garbage on the withhold your vote? What? Okay. Well, I know we're gonna disagree about Vosh. <laughs> I think Vosh is extremely based. I'm not. In I'm not interested in having a an argument about Vosh right now. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Again, we we know where we disagree, dude. Okay. <laughs> like. Vosh, I I agree with Vosh a hundred percent on this, so I'm I'm not I'm not getting back into that. Um, go on, Jamie. Tell me about your relationship with your mother. Mother. Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have a relationship with my mother. And if you knew her, you wouldn't either. Okay. Vosh isn't all that base. Damn. Damn. Okay, that hurts. That hurts right here. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, look. We'll move along. <laughs> and a clause. Oh, come all ye hateful. <laughs> Santifa, baby. Oh, Hurry down to Chaz tonight. And that California classic, it's beginning to look a lot like Venezuela. Ooh, ooh, we got it. We got it. Venezuela. We got the Venezuela joke, dude. We got the Venezuela joke in there because, of course, if we're making fun of lefties, right? We got oh Venezuela guys Venezuela Venezuela <sighs> Aren't aren't conservatives funny guys? Aren't they just hilarious? I really do guys. It makes me sad as fuck. Conservatives have killed comedy. They really have. Like They've turned just being a dick into being into comedy or just like, <laughs> look at me. I'm, I'm fucking, uh, 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 I'm, a, I'm offending minorities. Look how funny I am. Hey guys, I just said a thing that, uh, 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 marginalizes gay or trans people. Isn't that funny? <sighs> no nuance in their comedy either. Just very, uh, just very, I, I, no, I know if you asked this dude, he'd be like, oh yeah, no, this is super fucking nuanced, guys. You just don't get it. You're just a small brain lefty. Yeah. We all have that one relative who's just got a disproportionate amount of holiday cheer. This album is the perfect gift to take that away from them and level the playing field. For three easy payments of $19.99, this collection can be yours today. But wait! Call now and we will throw in this tax rich sweater for the small price of $69.99. This is Ooh, a one yeah. Oh, you gotta get that AOC job in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, tax the rich shirt, guys. Expensive tax the rich shirt, guys. Yeah, because, uh, again. <laughs> again, dude. Um,. There's a reason why her shirt costs so much, okay? I'm not even going to get into that. You guys know. Making shirts ethically costs fucking money, dude. Again, I know you guys don't have a problem with uh, unethical business practices in order to save the customer a little bit of money, which uh, in turn just profits you, really. See, they don't care about the customer. When they, when they fucking, like, concern troll about, oh my god, I can't believe they're charging that, they're, they're fucking uh, uh, followers that much money. I can't believe it, guys. Um, yeah, they don't actually care about that because that's not why they uh uh fucking charge uh, uh cheap for shit when they can. It's because it makes you more money if you can sell something super cheap and 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 get it super cheap and and you know everyone looks at it as like, oh yeah, that's a bargain, that's a steal. Yeah, I can, I'll, I'll buy that. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who can't afford AOC's shirt. I can't afford it. Um, but that's that's the cost of doing business ethically, okay? Maybe if we had, like, a, a bigger infrastructure for this shit, more fucking uh, 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 American-run factories where, where we could actually have, like, uh, 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 where we, we could actually compete, various, uh, uh, various industries could compete in this country... Instead of having to compete with fucking uh, sweatshops overseas, maybe we could bring those prices down a little bit. 
but uh yeah okay no aoc is a horrible monster horrible horrible monster for selling this shirt time offer our CDs and cassette tapes are ethically manufactured with union labor and oh, will most course. likely work on your government-issued listening devices. But let's be honest, even if you don't pay, we're taking your money anyway. Ooh, a tax... Oh, wow. there, guys, it's so funny. It's Guys, it's so funny. It's so... Fu guys, he, get it? Because we're taking your money anyway, right? Because taxation is theft. Get it? You guys get it. Fucking lefties think that th think that taxes are good. Think we live in a fucking society or some shit. Yeah, fucking pussies. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know what y'all are on about. <clears throat> the 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 chat has devolved into total degeneracy. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are on about. Oh, by the way, for anyone who thinks me timing them out is censorship, I just want to remind you guys that your comments are right here on the fucking, on the fucking, yeah, screen under me, okay, like right there. <laughs> no one's being censored by being timed out. Side note, my dad watches PragerU, ugh, cringe, cringe. God damn, PragerU is so dumb. I was gonna watch a different PragerU video, but I watched this and I was just like, ugh. The cringe, guys. I have to share in the cringe. Or you guys have to share in the cringe. I already I already subjected myself to the cringe twice, so. Uh brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, no, uh uh Prager U unironically is uh one of the dumbest fucking channels I have ever seen. And um Prager U is something that can literally be refuted by like yeah, kindergartners. That's why I call it Prager Kindergarten, dude. It's Prager Kindergarten. Like, in fact, I call it that more often, but I don't want Dennis Prager to get any ideas because I think he'd love the... I actually do think he'd love the idea of indoctrinating children uh, uh, to, to that extent. And uh, the fact is, Dennis Prager is not qualified to run a kindergarten. Do you think racism will ever be completely gone? Perhaps a thousand years or so from now when everyone is the same color. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, it would have to be, yeah, it would, it would I don't think racism will ever 100% go away. There will always be tribalistic dipshits. There will always be people who are raised in really sheltered racist household households. Unless we get rid of the nuclear family unit. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's always going to be bullshit. Um... There's always going to be people with dumb ideas, but I do think that we can get to a place where our society um, widely does not accept racism, right? And where where we're like our our society is pretty pretty against against that shit. Um, it's going to take some time, it is. Uh, but see, look, we can never just we can never eliminate all evil, okay? There's always going to be bad people, and yes, I, good, evil, bad, uh, good, right, uh, relative terms, right, all subjective. But, you know, based on our, uh, 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 our uh, you know, moral standards that we've come up with, you know, yeah, there, there's always going to be people who are uh, uh, shitty. It's about normalizing, uh, uh, you know, decent attitudes normalizing progressive thought and getting us to a point where basically anyone who still holds these ideas is just uh, 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 widely fucking uh, disregarded by society and viewed, uh, viewed as basically just like a, a joke. Oh, pff, what? You think black people are inferior because of the color of their skin? <laughs> Wow, what a, hey, hey guys, this, this dude over here, hey guys, 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 come here, come here, you, you guys have to hear this, this guy over here, right, <laughs> he thinks black people are different from white people, what, he thinks, he, oh, oh, get this, he thinks black people are dumber and commit more crime because of genetic issues, oh my god, he's fucking dumb, <laughs> oh my god, you think, you think, 
Wait, wait, what? You think black people have a propensity to commit crime more than white people? What a dipshit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's a... Uh, that's where we need to get to, right? <laughs> Do you think Ben Shapiro is closet trans? <laughs> I've made jokes about it before. I <laughs> There's no way of knowing. Look, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I think there are a lot of right-wing closeted trans people. I think there are a lot of right-wing closeted gender fluid people. I think there's a lot of right... There, I know there's a lot of right-wing closeted gay bi and bi people. Um, and one of the things, one of the reasons I know this is because I used to be really, well, I didn't used to be really right wing. I mean, I grew up super right wing and then I slowly turned more left as I became an adult. Um, but I used to be more right leaning and I used to be, uh, uh, more, uh, transphobic. And I feel like a lot of my transphobia really did come from like an internalized self-loathing, uh, sort of like. Uh, uh, transphobia rather than an actual um, y y you know li like rather than an actual uh, disrespect for trans people it was more of like a I hate myself sort of thing and yeah and I think that's a well a lot of people do a lot of I think there's a lot of closeted self-hating people out there um and I one of the reasons, by the way, I think that they get so uncomfortable with the idea of us normalizing um, different gender identities, different sexualities, is because on some level, they identify with that. On some level, they want that. They like the idea of, oh, I'm going to be a woman now. But they think it's wrong. They believe it's 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 unnatural and they believe that any urges they have, any desires they have to do these things is is something that's sinful that needs to be, uh, uh, you know, needs to be squashed. You know, it's it's temptation from the devil. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you then go around and shit on uh, LGBT people because you right because you want a virtue signal look like uh oh oh yeah cuz obviously those are bad people and yeah I'm a good person cuz I'm not one of them and you also want to look like you're you're not one of them right yeah if I was one of them why would I be shitting on them so much right yeah there there's a lot of that on the right like a a shit ton of it uh I live in the south store uh store owner is a veteran who makes gay jokes and give off, gives off cis vibes hmm I, I I don't know, dude. There's 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 a lot of pe there's a lot. Look, and I'm not saying. See, I don't I don't claim to like know what someone is on the inside, but what I'm gonna say is this, and this is a general theme of something that I talk about a lot on this channel. I think a lot of people are not honest with themselves and are not living, uh, uh, their their best life. They're not they're not being their truest self. I think, and look, th th this is one of the things that led me to coming out as trans, is examining myself, examining my intentions, my wants, my desires, my needs, examining, really examining what I really want, what I really feel like on the inside, all of those feelings that I tried to bury and pretend didn't exist, and and just being honest, being honest, say, yeah, I am trying to bury this, yeah, I, I, I am lying to myself. And I'm not saying that necessarily leads you to be trans or even gay. Maybe it leads you to something else. Maybe it leads you to realize that you're in the wrong field of work. Maybe it'll lead you to realize you're with the wrong partner. Maybe it'll lead you to realize you're not doing enough with your life or, or whatever. We, I think a lot of people out there are really just going through the motions, trying to uh, 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 survive, live their life, which is good, but... I think it makes a lot of us closed off to the idea that there's better that we could do. And a lot of us, especially when we get called out on the, the, the areas in which we could do better or the areas in which we might lying, be lying to ourselves, um, um, God damn it. 
sorry i'm i'm hungry i got to i got to go get something to eat in a minute um god damn it i wish i had like a thing where i could just re replay the last fucking thing i said you know what here I'm... god damn it Um, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I identify as straight because I'm sexually attracted to femininity, even if it's a very feminine male. Um, that's, well, well that's why I, like, I, I, I identify as a lesbian, I guess. Because I'm I'm more romantically attracted to females, but I am physically attracted to males on a, a, a on on just like a, a, a basic like like sexual uh, basis. Um, but I I yeah I, I identify more as as a, as a as a lesbian, which I may, maybe that's wrong to some people. Maybe they're like no, you're not a lesbian. But I mean, I, I have a wife, so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, like, I just think if a lot more people were just fucking honest with themselves, guys, just, just be honest and, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can start living a, a, a better fucking life. Ask yourself those uncomfortable questions. Dig deep. It's hard, but it, it's, it's worth it in the end. Uh, what's the difference between romance and sexuality to you? Well, um, you can be sexually attracted to something and be like, oh, yeah, like that dick is hot. Yeah, I want to jerk off to that dick or I want to put it inside me or whatever. Like, But uh, uh, I think there's a difference between uh, being sexually attracted to someone and being romantically attracted to someone. I tend to be more romantically attracted to women. Um, and honestly, I've, I've, I'm not interested in the idea of being in a relationship with men because I've I've. Look, I fucked with men before, and uh, look, I I I know this is this. I'm gonna sound like a rad femme for saying this, okay? But uh, men suck, okay? I'm sorry, they 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 just do. They do. They like men. Men are garbage. Men are trash. <laughs> um, no, um, <laughs> from from my perspective, you know, I I I I don't. I think men can be really. Uh, at least a lot of men can be really shitty in relationships, and th there's a number of reasons why. Um. Not even shit that I necessarily uh, uh, blame all men for, but yeah. Personally, I just prefer women. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, um, hmm. Yeah, I should probably end this. I've been going. I've been going for oh shit, almost two hours. Okay, yeah, and I'm getting like really fucking hungry. My stomach is like. God damn it, feed me, you fucking piece of shit. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for chilling, guys. Thanks for watching. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, click the fucking subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, 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 join the fucking Patreon, okay? Uh, uh, check out my other videos and shit. All, all that dope shit. Uh, <clears throat> uh, by the way, I'm going to be a... Uh, I probably won't be streaming until Monday, but I'll, I'll be doing like a, a special birthday stream on Monday because Monday is my birthday. So uh, that that'll be dope. Um, are you polyamorous? N uh, no. <laughs> you wish, yeah. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Trust me, a lot, a, a lot of people wish. A lot of people are like, "God damn it, I, I want, I want to fuck you, Jamie. I want to fuck you so bad, Jamie." Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a total uh. Total Stacy over here. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are beautiful. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Piss off. Catch you next time. Bye.